Hi, my lovely Scorpio friends. Thank you so much for joining me. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you have Scorpio in your chart. Also, if you're interested in a Scorpio and you're hoping to learn more energetically, I'm Wendy Irene, founder of GiveLoveCreateHappiness.com. I'd love for you to join me there if you feel called to. It's my creative space in the world where there's mostly home photos, recipes, the readings are also there. So come join me if you'd like. Remember that these readings are meant to be a bridge to your own intuition. That's what I want to help you develop more than anything else is hearing that inner voice within yourself. And it's a collective, so not every energy matches every person. Although we organize tarot by time, just for organizational purposes, it's um, timeless, meaning that trust in the divine timing that you're here when you're meant to be. Like, even if you see the message 10 months from now, it could be the divine timing. So trust in that. Okay, and if you're inquiring about a certain person or situation, roles can be reversed. So that's where your intuition also comes into play um, for how it makes sense for you. Let's get started. Okay, the first card you have here is Start Delegating. I love this green color. This green is really has to do with the heart chakra. I feel like this is going to help open your heart, make you happier. So it's asking others... Um, to help you instead of trying to do everything yourself. So like delegate out some of that stuff that doesn't have to be you doing it uh, so that so that you are not so overwhelmed. This is gonna help with, I really feel like opening your heart, giving yourself more time for yourself and your happiness. You have Isis. So some of you are dealing with a past life connection here. I love the Isis card. In the tarot deck that I have, she's actually the justice card. But this, isn't, this means that whatever situation you're involved in, it involves a past life or like past life memories. So if it's a relationship, it might be like you've had a past life together. Maybe it's almost like you remember this person in a way. Um, or your situation could be like you might be healing something from a past life. So um, it could be that you're working on I feel that sometimes like there are things that we know we need to heal within ourselves that don't necessarily make sense from this lifetime, but could be coming from a past lifetime. That's just my personal belief. It's like, you know, say you have like an insecurity or about something, but it doesn't really make sense from this lifetime. It may stem from another lifetime. Anyway, the whatever the situation is, it involves something to do with the past life. I'm not here to tell you what to believe. Um, so take it as it resonates for you. You also have the independent card. This is beautiful. Look at that yellow. That's the, so so far we have the green, which is the heart chakra. We have the purple, which is the past life. So past life, uh, the purple actually connects with the crown chakra, which is like really connecting with the divine. The yellow is the solar plexus chakra, your strength, your self power within yourself and in saying your independence is a foundation for your strength and success. I want to pull some cards to actually clarify these ones that we have out here. Okay, let's do a few shuffles here, Scorpio. Gosh, I can feel this incredible strength coming, the independent card. Like you it's important for you to know that you have your own back, that you're going to be okay. You have this independence and strength for success within yourself. You don't need to turn to anybody else for it. It's all within you. So go ahead and start, you know, like it's saying, like delegating things out here too. Okay. We've got the Ten of Air clarifying the start delegating. So this is the end of a difficult situation. The 10 of air is about the end of a difficult situation. It coming to a close, coming to an end. Embrace change, expect things to get better from now on. And it's like a recovering. You might have needed to recover from whatever the situation is. Um, it, like for some people it can be recovering from an addiction. It's this recovering energy. It's the end of the difficult situation. It's coming to an end if it hasn't already for you here. And um, you're, you reach out and ask for help with what you need help with, okay? Let's see, why is Isis 
a beautiful Isis card here for my Scorpio friends. I love the powerful energy that comes from this particular card. I myself am extremely drawn to that one. Okay, we got three cards that wanted to pop out. So there's a lot of information here. Knight of Fire, Three of Air, Four of Fire, Fire Energy, Air Energy. Okay, so the Knight of Fire is, oh, is a very passionate energy. It can be like something needs your attention. It can be something where like time is of the essence. Um, but it also is a card of like, you know, think things through carefully though. Um, like even though this situation might like cause fire or passion or adventureness or restlessness, um, it might really be taking your attention. Like you have this wisdom about you, right? And I, I feel that with the past life card here, you have this wisdom about you. The three of air is the three of swords, something causing you sadness heartbreak something where you need to forgive yourself or others um take it how it resonates but let's see four of fire this is the four of wands like this is this is a really positive energy card i feel like whatever this heartbreak or sadness is that you've gone through um, something's taking your attention because we have Isis past life connection for a fire. This is contentment. This is a happy home life. This is a successful completion of something. For some people, this is a card of marriage. It could be, um, but this is an abundant card here. I feel you moving through whatever the sadness is. Like you are moving through it. You have this fire within you, Scorpio, that gets you through anything here. Um, and you're using your wisdom and you're moving through it. And you do have this contentment, peace, and abundance here for you. Why is the independent card here? It could be for some of you with this Knight of Fire and the Three of Air. Like I'm feeling for some of you in some of the situations where whatever the sadness is or the heartbreak, it may have also caused you anger, right? That you're you're healing through. So you have the King of Water here with the independent card. The King of Water is uh it could, you know. Scorpio, this is your energy because you are water. So, you know, remember that you are this beautiful energy. You are trustworthy and compassionate and respected. So it's really just opening your heart and mind to those around you. Um, there is trustworthy, heartfelt advice coming in for you. Or you may be giving that out because you have that wisdom within you. It could be some of you are actually doing something like charity work too that's really giving back here. But this compassion with the independence card, I'm feeling like there's this need to have a lot of compassion for yourself. Remember that like how you treat yourself and how you talk to yourself really does reflect what it is that you can give to other people. So it needs to start with you like, if you were to talk to yourself like as like you're loving like as a daughter or son that you absolutely love what would you say to them give yourself that loving compassion that you you really once you do that for yourself you then are able to bring that into the world even more right because um really it is a reflection of how much you love yourself so there is this need for you to be trust in yourself, trust in your inner knowing, be compassionate toward yourself. Like you have strength and success in you. You have this 
contentment, peace, and abundance. Um, also, the successful completion of something, because the Ten of Air, like, something is completed here. Something is coming to an end or has come to an end. Let's pull out, um, let's move these cards to the side, and I'm going to pull out my other, another tarot deck and to see what other messages want to come through for you, Scorpio, today. Wow, I'm seeing the Isis card again. Past life situation, past life situation, past life situation. Very, if it's a relationship, it would be a very strong connection. It's like you've known each other before. Like I said, maybe it feels like you remember this person. But Isis is also about balance. The universe bringing balance into the situation for you here. And the fact that I saw that in the split with shuffling and we also have Isis here is a really incredible because it's like first really saying and I really mean it here. Okay, so we've got the Tower, the Hierophant, the Knave of Pentacles. Okay, this is massive. This is the universe's like, you know, sometimes there is this change that needs to be made that is our highest good and the universe has to step in and do it because maybe we are in a comfort zone or it's because whatever the situation is, is not in your highest interest, is not in your highest good. And so if you were to stay in the tower, it would just, you'd just be going down in flames. So there is this change that happens and it can be an extremely positive change. I never want anybody to fear the tower card because it is a good thing. The universe is, is getting rid of what's wrong for you and setting you on course for what's right for you. Hierophant is you stepping up spiritually. Um, the Hierophant is a guru, is a spiritual teacher. You might be giving this advice to others because people look up to you. It's also a step up in commitment. You might be experiencing more commitment. You have the King of Water here. It could be the step up in commitment with the Four of Fire. Like It could be, for some of you, some kind of marriage that happens here you have the knave of pentacles this is the page of pentacles this is about a message this is you taking this grounded step forward okay you also have the emperor on the bottom of the deck that just appeared on this other deck here so the emperor is like you really using um This is you being a leader in some way. Like, remember, like, you are this leader here. Okay, please clarify the tower for Scorpio. The hermit. Spend time in quiet meditation, spiritual teaching, self-discovery. This is a time of self-discovery for you. Um, I really feel like you need this quiet meditative time and it says spiritual teachings that is hand in hand with the hair font like you are you're really growing in that area the hermit can be about also like whatever this change is or whatever this power is that whatever's being removed from your life that's not right for you you might need some like quiet time right to 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 handle it you have the queen of air which is the queen of swords. For me, she screams like cutting out what's wrong for you, cutting out the BS. It's decision making, clear decision making, clearing away everything that doesn't serve you. You also can do this with humor though. Like you can also see the humor in the situation, right? It doesn't have to be so incredibly serious, which can, the queen of swords can feel like, but like if you can infuse humor into the situation, but you, this, you have so much independence here. Like you are able to take care of yourself. You have the dreamer card. I love that it talks about Archangel Metatron. I love that energy. You're taking a leap of faith. You're following your dreams. There's unexpected opportunities here or this tower may have been unexpected for you, but it is a blessing. It is a blessing. Please clarify the Knave of Pentacles for my Scorpio friends. And remember, like, take time to daydream, right? That's a form of manifesting. Daydream what makes you feel really good. What would make you feel really good here? The night of air. 
this is an action card this is a fast moving card and it, and it's clarifying the knave of pentacles so let's see it, it can be an event that occurs with great speed here again it's this message of like carefully review the options there are creative solutions here Scorpio, what I really want you to focus on this week is like whatever this like situation is, it might feel intense, especially because of past life. There's this stepping up spiritually that is really written all over the cards here. This compassion for yourself is so important it is what I'm really feeling. You have your back. You got you. You can take care of you. You can rely on you. Um, you can trust in yourself here. And you can dream, you can follow your dreams, and you can take this leap of faith. You got this. Scorpio, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for all you do to support this channel and help it grow, for liking it, sharing it, all of that. Um, if you want to be sure to catch the next video, make sure to subscribe and click the bell. This is where we part. Now I'm sending you so much love and light, and I'm energetically supporting you here. Have a beautiful week, Scorpio. Bye.